Unfortunately for beautiful Kate Steinle, she was murdered in the liberal sanctuary city of San Francisco, California by an illegal alien that those in this cesspool of a city are desperate to protect. In a shocking verdict, the judge on the case sent Garcia Zarate, a 45-year-old Mexican citizen, free. In doing so, he proved he puts more value on the life of a murderous illegal alien, than he does the dead victim who didn't get a second chance. The illegal is a free man after being acquitted of murder and now six days after that sick verdict, the victim's family were just hit with a second devastating blow. The loss of young Kate's life was vain after the judge shifted the attention to her illegal alien killer as the victim, rather than on the immigration issue being the problem that cost Kate her life. Now that the decision has been made to exonerate the six times deported Sarit, the so-called sanctuary city of San Francisco wants to honor him further. It's clear that the city is desperate to change the perception of murderous illegal aliens by removing the one reminder of the life lost to this loser. In doing so, authorities essentially spit on Kate's grave and sent this sick message to her mourning family who are still trying to come to grips with the fact that their daughter's killer is a free man. Kate was killed at Pier 14 while on a walk with her father at the iconic tourist attraction. Now this picturesque spot serves as a constant, painful reminder of Kate and the justice that was not served, which she deserved. All that remains where she stoof when Zarit came up and shot her, is a shrine to her life. It's the least she deserves so she's never forgotten, no matter how much a judge and jury want her to be after having forgiven her murder. That shrine is now being removed and who ordered the destruction of it is almost as shocking as the reason for taking it down. Independent Journal Review reports, a memorial to Kate Steinel, the 32-year-old Bay Area woman shot and killed while on a walk with her dad, has been removed by the city of San Francisco, and the reason why is a stunner. Underscore, underscore on Thursday, Jose Inés Garcia Zare was found not guilty of murder and involuntary manslaughter in Steinle's killing. Instead, the jury only found him guilty on the charge of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Garcia Zarate, a seven-time felon and five-time deportee, was in the U.S. illegally. Underscore, underscore people brought flowers, cards and other items to the Steinle Memorial which sprang up around a bench on the pier where she was killed. Underscore, underscore but now, the shrine has been removed. Underscore, underscore and the people asking for its removal are the biggest surprise. Underscore, underscore CBS San Francisco reported that Steinle's parents asked for the shrine's removal. San Francisco Mayor Red Lee's spokeswoman Deirdre Hussey said, colon underscore, underscore the Steinle family placed a request with the mayor's office for the bench to remain as it was intended, a simple memorial in recognition of Kate and her spirit. Underscore, while the family asking for the removal of the shrine comes as a surprise, it was essentially the last amount of control they had over preserving her memory based on what was happening at the spot dedicated to her. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, the request for removal of the adorned bench was because a self-described alt-right group was responsible for putting it up. About 50 candles, along with red and white roses, were seen Friday where Steinle was shot and killed, following the conclusion of the trial where her alleged shooter was acquitted of murder and manslaughter charges. The memorial had ties to a self-proclaimed alt-right group, who appeared to have started the shrine to Steinle. The political group responsible for decorating the bench in her memory is Call Identify Europa who may have had a different purpose for using Kate's death, which the family didn't want their beloved daughter's memory being intertwined with. The notes on the poster that became part of the memorial said build a wall and Steinle's death will be avenged, IJR reported. However, the backhanded issue was that San Francisco really wanted it removed citing an arbitrary violation of city policy. Officials told the examiner that the memorial violated city policy. San Francisco typically removes memorials within 10 days of the victim's funeral service. Steinle's funeral took place in 2015, CBS San Francisco reported. This was likely brought up after the group who made the shrine had called for a boycott of the city of San Francisco. Lucid Hurricane pointed out what they thought was a political decision to remove the memorial, however, regardless of who put it up, it should have stayed up, 
which top blog sites pointed out on Twitter. Removing it was just another way of catering the left by causing the reminder of what really killed her to disappear so we can all forget about the deadly illegal immigration issue.